Hi, I'm Tony Wright. I'm the City Archives Officer for the City of Grand Rapids. And I'm Matthew Ellis, Archives Assistant for the City of Grand Rapids. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the City, City Archives. Archives. Our facility is located at 223 Washington Street Southeast, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49503. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are open to the public by appointment only. To make an appointment, call, email, or visit us online. Established in 1981, the City Archives is part of the City Clerk's Office for the City of Grand Rapids. The City Clerk is responsible for the care of the City's records, and our responsibility is to preserve the City's records, provide access to those records, and oversee the legal destruction of records. Our holdings include over 16,000 boxes of records for the Village of Grand Rapids from 1838 to 1850, and the City of Grand Rapids from 1850 to the present. The City Archives includes a records management program and an archive. Our records management program includes active and inactive records for the City of Grand Rapids. We have a records retention schedule approved by the State of Michigan, which creates a life cycle for all records created by the City. We store the records of the City of Grand Rapids. A record is information that pertains to the day-to-day -day operations of the City, regardless of the format. So this means a record can be an image, a video recording, or even a letter. It's about the information, not the medium. Certain records take up space in city offices, so departments require off-site storage. Our services at the city archives are safe, secure, and cost-effective for the city. All records sent to the archives are the property of the Department of Origin. At no point do those departments lose ownership of their own records. It will be noted that not all records have a permanent life cycle. Others will be destroyed via shredding once they outlive their life cycle. Our archives program manages records once part of the records management program that are now deemed as historical. Our archival holdings differ from our records management holdings because they have a permanent historical value. Staff at the City Archives uses proper archival techniques from encapsulation to document repair to minor book repairs to preserve the items in the archives. Some of these records include Village of Grand Rapids Board of Trustees minutes, City of Grand Rapids Common Council and City Commission records, our historic assessor's property files, photographs, tax records, maps, and aerial images. We have also made efforts to digitize some of our archival records. Digitization is a method we use for ease of access for records, but not as a long-term preservation method. It is advised that departments meet with City Archive staff to discuss digitization projects. We have been able to scan records for departments to store on the network. Originals are kept at the City Archives as a safety precaution. All records and archival holdings are kept in a climate-controlled facility with various security features. The building is secured by keycard access and only the City Archives officer, the City Clerk, and the Archives assistant have access. Within the area where records are stored, there are also areas that are secured further from more sensitive records. The building also has surveillance throughout the building. The facility has environmental controls to make sure that records last longer. The temperature stays at roughly 70 degrees, while the relative humidity stays around 35%. Fire suppression for the building runs on a dry pipe system, where water only enters the pipes when the system is triggered. We store our boxes on metal shelving, with each location represented by a unique shelf number. The shelves are filled with different kinds of boxes. The white, acid-free boxes are typically reserved for permanent records, while the brown boxes, which offer less archival protection, are normally only for records that will eventually be destroyed. Each box should have a label. The labels have information unique to each box. They tell staff everything they need to know about a given box. The label provides information on where the box came from, what year it was sent to the archives, and how many boxes came with it. Most importantly, it provides information on the type of records the box contains. Citizens and researchers are able to access this information at any time. The City Archives averages over 1,700 requests a year. Most requests focus on specific properties, looking for photographs of homes or businesses or past building permits. Sometimes requests will be for information on a specific ordinance, a specific neighborhood, or sometimes a specific topic, such as the Grand River. Sometimes we receive requests for records with sensitive information, or we receive requests that would take too many hours to complete. 
Those types of requests fall under the Freedom of Information Act. Therefore, you will need to fill out a FOIA request. Search FOIA on the city's website to access the FOIA request link. For all other requests, visit the City Archives webpage. There, you can scroll down and click on Request City Archive Services. This will take you to the Open Forms request page. Follow the instructions to submit your request. A member from our staff will follow up with an email or a call within 48 hours. Another resource found on our City Archives page is a link to our digital collection site, Omeka. Our Omeka site is organized by subjects and departments. For example, if you are looking for photographs of a specific school, look for schools under the subject headings section. Omeka also contains a map page, which displays the geographic location of each image. If you click an individual image, you can view the details and descriptions of that image, also known as the metadata. If you right-click on an image, it will give you the option to download it. If you download any photographs or documents for public use, you must provide the proper citation. You can find all of our resources and additional facts pertaining to the history of Grand Rapids on our City Archives webpage. For a sampling of our collections, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at GR City Archives. To schedule a visit or request records, visit us online, call our office at extension 4127, or send an email to Tony Wright or Matthew Ellis.